Well, Eric, Nikki, lots of talk about these tiny homes over the last year, getting people off the streets and into these types of safe spaces. But about half of these beds have still not been filled. And County Supervisor Patrick Kennedy says that's because they want to make sure to do this thing safely. And they don't want to overwhelm staff here before they really ramp things up. Here we go. This is home sweet home. Getting people off the streets and into safe housing. A major goal for the state of California as a whole and right here in Sacramento. But actually providing those beds and filling them taking longer than anticipated. We're doing that on purpose. We're doing a slow rollout so that we can find out you know, where we need to tweak some things so that we ensure it's a success and don't overwhelm the system. About 65 of the 125 beds are being used at the Safe Stay site on Power Inn and Florin Roads. Wednesday night, Sacramento County District 2 Supervisor Patrick Kennedy decided he was going to spend the night at the Safe Stay community to see what it's like to sleep in a tiny home and to use the amenities. He said he slept well. Some things he said could use improvement, like the pump showers, curtains for inside the tiny homes, and the space for pets. But overall, he's glad the county decided to move forward with this idea. When I was there, I was sitting out with my dog one night, that night, and uh, at a picnic table, and three women came up to me who were residents of the site. And all three of them told me the same thing, and that's that this place saved my life. And, you know, that is a county supervisor. You can't hear better words than that. Kennedy says the around the clock security and the wraparound services are what really help those in need because because they're no longer on the street. They don't they're no longer victims of abuse. Uh, they're they're no longer victims of the weather. Um, and, and all three of them are also taking advantage. One's getting her high school diploma. One's trying to get her GED so she can get employed. It's, they're also taking advantage of those services with the ultimate goal of getting out of there into a more permanent setting. The city of Sacramento announced it's looking to break ground for 175 new tiny homes off Stockton Boulevard in the next couple of months. Then it plans at some point to place some at Cal Expo. Kennedy says the city and county need more. We definitely have a need for two things. One is more immediate shelter like tiny homes to get people off the street, get them the services they need to stabilize them in a secure, dignified setting. At the same time, we can't take our eye off the long ball and that's uh, building more affordable housing. So back out here live off Power Inn and Florin, you can see just over the safe space site here, there is some buildings under construction there. Kennedy says those are 200 affordable housing units there. And he says theoretically people could come off the streets into these tiny homes, get back on their feet, and in a month or so they could be able to move into those affordable housing units. Live in South Sacramento, covering local news that matters, I'm Zach Poeto, Fox 40 News.